Hi, my name is Kalit Lazar and I help women in the entertainment business set the stage for an unforgettable performance consistently and stress-free. And today what I want to do is I want to continue the video that I started last time and today I'm going to share with you three ways to use the law, uh, the law of attraction easily and effortlessly. And I'm going to reveal to you some, some new secrets. So the last time I spoke to you about uh, how uh, the, the entertainment business is uh, looking at uh, a certain specific um, way of looking and that many uh, artists are very um, uh, frustrated about that, especially because when they want to get to Hollywood, they have those standards where they say, well, uh, you're too fat, you're too old, you're too young, you're too skinny, you're too this and too that. So, and I, to, I said that when you go there, that it has to do a lot with the way you perceive yourself. And the way you perceive yourself, if you take a look in the mirror and say to yourself, well, I'm a little bit fat, I'm a little bit this, I'm a little bit that, then whatever you think to yourself, and a lot of times you're, you're unconscious of that, then what happens is that the, uh, the other people that are around you will see it the same way. So how do you overcome this idea of yourself? This is what I'm going to share with you today. Here is what happens. A lot of times before we, we learn how to love ourselves and everything, we have to look at what is it that is stopping us. What is it that really is sitting under in your subconscious, deep inside of you, that is preventing you from getting there? And that we call old beliefs. We all come with a baggage of old beliefs and values. And that forms our thoughts, you see. So, for example, if, uh, if you heard as a child, someone tell you for example um, that money goes on trees well a lot of times you will feel very insecure when you talk about money if somebody told you that uh, whenever you ate that you look a little bit fat or a little bit like this or you're too skinny and you have to eat more then those those little beliefs stay with you until today so the first step that you have to do is you have to become aware of it because once that you are aware of it then you can tackle it you see because awareness believe it or not is very very powerful how can imagine yourself walking in a, in a dark field with absolutely no light can you see everything no of course not well the same thing happens with old beliefs unless you are aware of them unless you are awake and you see them how can you tackle them so this is awareness again is very very important now the second thing you have to remember that we we all on a, a lot of times on a conscious level we say but okay so I know that and everything goes well and but you're still stuck yes you know that but no matter what you do you're still not getting anywhere well a lot of times we know we have something but did we really digest it and did we really accept that we have that that is the next step that you have to do is accept and accepting means you don't have to agree with it not at all all you have to do is just give it love and a good way to do that is to take three deep breaths in and out and in a quiet place and try to simply 
love yourself for who you are. Just love and accept that you have these feelings. Because why is it so important? You say, but how can I accept that I don't like it? Well, yes, you don't like it. But the more you're not going to like it, the more what we call the ego, the bad thought, is going to still continue to come back and back and back again like a little cycle until you decide to face it. And that is why accepting it and giving it love will make your mind understand that it cannot fight it anymore. When it says you don't fight it anymore and you just leave it, there's something very special that is happening in your mind. You see? Because then the conscious and the subconscious, you are able to put it together and align it. And then they, they are like two good friends. You see? That is why it's so important to do that. And here is uh, what I also want to illustrate for you now is that how important it is to um, face those beliefs and be aware with them and how really it can change your life. So I want to give you an example here of a client that I had. And I had a client who struggled with the way she felt very inadequate about herself. And that and the, the the feeling that she had, other people saw it in her, you see. And once I coached her, she she felt so much better than she did before. And once she knew where is the, once we tackled together where the root of the problem was and what belief deep inside of her that she had then she was able to move forward very easily and attract the things that she wanted to attract so the more you practice this the more you get good at it it's like it's and you're going to become a pro at it so this is why it is so important to know it and and do these things and if you want to know, if you want to find out uh, more information about, about that and how to release uh, beliefs, then you can check my blog at http www.galitzcampcoaching.blogspot.com And if you want to know more about me and check my blog also on my other website, which is http galitzcampcoaching.com slash blog and so and so try it and let me know how it works bye